Just wanted to say a few words about this very special day of Erev Yom Kippur. But first, let's fast forward a few hours to Kol Nidre. Kol Nidre is phenomenal, fantastic, emotional, beautiful. It really is the forebringer of Yom Kippur. But if you actually look at the text, it's actually quite a dry legal text of annulling vows. In fact, it might not even really work since on Erev Rosh Hashanah, many of us already annulled our vows in a much more detailed way. Yet we cry, the Kol Nidre is, you hear stories of communists and children who were taken away and it's the Kol Nidre that brought them back. What is so special about Kol Nidre? Why is this the beginning of Yom Kippur? So I want to answer perhaps in, in a slightly different way. Perhaps this is my kavana um, when, when I say Matir Asurim. But I think perhaps it, it, it helps us answer the question. Matir Asurim, Hashem should re- release the bound. Um, essentially, the Poshut Pshat, simple understanding is that just as Hashem can heal the sick, He can release the bound. If someone's sick, they will get healed. And if they are bound, if they're tied up, if they're captured, they can also be, you know, freed. And I personally think of it in a slightly different way. It's included, but I look at it like this. We're all bound to things. We're all bound to Gashmias, to physicality, to our Yetzirah. We all have things pulling us back, stopping us. We all have addictions in certain areas. We all have things that are stopping us from growing even when we want to grow. It's like someone who's running and that they're in long grass and they're just, they're tied and they might want to go in that direction, but they physically can't because they're stuck. Matir Asurim is asking Hashem to Matir, to untie the bound, to cut the things that are stopping us from going forward where we want to go. We might have taken upon ourselves certain things that really hold us back, baggage, uh, disappointments, things that are really stopping us. We ask Hashem, I ask Hashem with Matir Asurim, that he releases me, he releases all of Klai Yisrael who need to be released in a certain areas, that we can just leave everything we need to leave behind and go forward and become big in that direction. That is my kavana for Matir Asurim, and perhaps I also think it might answer what we're doing um, with Kol Nidre. If Arav Moshe Shapiro answers similarly when it comes to Kol Nidre, that although it's really dry, <laughs> it's a dry legal text, it might be sung very nicely or, or not, usually yes, um, but it, 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 it's what it is. But what is it? You're cutting away all the neder and the shavua, everything that I said and I already of Hirsch said, what is a neder? Neder is usually not a good thing. Why is it not a good thing? Because you're, you're, you're limiting yourself at that time. You're saying, okay, I'm where I am now and I'm forbidding this on myself. So one second, Rav Hirsch says, how do you know where you're going to be in the future? Maybe you'll need that. Why are you limiting yourself? There are times to yes, say a neder, that's fine. But in our circumstances on Kol Nidre, we're saying, Hashem, I want to undo every limitation that I placed upon myself. And that's perhaps why it's very, very beautiful. What's that got to do with Erev Yom Kippur? So what are we doing on Kol Nidre? Essentially, we are cutting the ties, as I just said, but why? Well, we're saying that on Yom Kippur, it's a day where my physicality and the things that are stopping me from being great are, are being cut. Essentially, we are becoming to associate ourselves with the neshama and we're leaving the guff behind. We're associating ourselves with the soul, what we really want to become on a spiritual level. And we're leaving behind the things that are stopping us, the physicality. Essentially, that's what we do on Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur, if you think about it, the Gemara says it's, it's perhaps certainly one of the two um, happiest days in the Jewish calendar, perhaps the happiest day of the Jewish calendar. So we Jews, Baruch Hashem, know how to celebrate. And how do we celebrate Yom Kippur? With affliction. You know, we don't eat, we don't drink. It, that's not how we celebrate. So what, if it's a happy day, we should be celebrating. How we celebrate? What's going on? And this will bring us into Erev Yom Kippur. So if we really understand what Yom Kippur is, it's a day connecting to the Neshama so we understand why we are afflicting our bodies. We're not really afflicting them, we're neglecting them. Because we're saying, I want to associate with the Shama so much that I want to be like a Malach, I want to be like an angel. I want to, I'm, I'm, everything that's stopping me, it, it's, it's becoming a Chatzitza with my Neshama. It's blocking my Neshama. I, I, I don't want to deal with it. Certainly not today, but that's really when I want to be in life. I want to be like a Neshama. I want to be where Kodesh Baruch wants me to be. 
So with that, I'm not going to eat, I'm not going to drink, I'm not going to give any attention, essentially, to my body. Because that is not my focus for the day, and that's really where I want to be, you know, for the future. So that is essentially what we're doing on Yom Kippur. Now, it's a day of celebration. But how can we celebrate, if we would eat and drink on Yom Kippur to celebrate this, it's ironic. Because we're celebrating leaving behind our body by indulging our body. It doesn't make sense. How can we be so excited that we should be singing and dancing, eating and drinking to, to head towards Rosh Hashanah when essentially the eating and drinking, singing and dancing is, is, you know, doing things with our body. That's where Erev Yom Kippur comes in. Erev Yom Kippur is a day of celebration. We're supposed to have a fast. Why are we fasting? Essentially, we're celebrating the, that we're leaving our body, that we're going towards Rosh Hashanah. And that can't be done on Yom Kippur for obvious reasons that we just said. But on Erev Yom Kippur is the day where we're still with our body, we're still getting ready, and that's the celebration. So as we sit down for our meal, we should really have Kavana, that we are celebrating Yom Kippur. What, what are we celebrating? We're celebrating leaving behind our body. That our body is going to get food and drink now, and it can be very nice. But really, Yom Kippur is the day with us and our Kodesh Baruch Hu. And who are we? We are Neshama. We are the Neshama that is so close to our Kodesh Baruch Hu that we want to do what He wants to do. And our will wants to, we want our will to be just like His will. And that's essentially going to lead us into Yom Kippur and Be'ez Hashem, a whole year of Torah and mitzvahs and only good things. Be'ez Hashem, everyone should have a Gemara Chasim and Torah, a good Gemara